much, you. Welcome back. Great to see you once again. How long did it take you to decide on a return to Glasgow? <laughs> Not long at all. Uh, that's uh, one of the places me and my family wanted to come back, and uh, we're more than happy to be back, that's for sure. Excellent. Good to hear. It would have been easy for you to, to stay in North America, of course. You, you've spent the last year there. So what is it about coming back to the UK that you, in particular, enjoy so much? Uh, just the league, the old, the fan, everything around the, the league. It's it's great that Glasgow is such a great city too. And uh, I, I feel like it'd be fun to, to build a little something over there, you know, to get a winning team and uh, and look forward for it. So how do you look back on that first season in Glasgow under Zach? It was a very frustrating season, I think, at times. Injuries played a big part. How do you look back on it from your own your own experience? Uh, oh, it was a great it was a great year, especially the start of the year. Uh, everyone learned about it, um, especially with the ending. Uh, you never know. We know we're not, we're not going to win the league, but uh, we're focused on the playoff. You know, uh, that, that was the goal for, for us to win. Uh, we had a great team. Uh, everyone loved each other in the room. So uh, I just... The way it end, it was, it's hard because we. Uh, I feel like we didn't finish our business over there. Yeah, and of course, COVID was the, the reason for that. Obviously, finishing where yeah. it did in March 2020 as well. Did you feel like there was a bit of momentum starting to come back into the team for those final games? Yeah, I think so. I think that's uh, like we we, uh, we we went through a rough patch during the year, and uh, I think we all look at each other as like this is the time. This is the time to, to turn the ship around and. Uh, there's no better place to do it right before playoff and then end up to in, in Nottingham. You never know, you know. Uh, it's two games uh, playoff over there, so uh, I've been there. And it, it's it's super fun to be there. So I know everyone wanted to be there. Now you're a bit of a hero, or you were a bit of a hero at Sheffield Steelers for what you you did for that club over four or five seasons. You were there. How much did you enjoy playing against them in 1920? Uh, it was it was great. Uh, I know I. I felt like I made a lot of enemies that, that day. That the first game I went back, I won, we won and I celebrated. I, I didn't know I was not allowed to to be happy for my team to win, but it's part it's part of hockey. You know, I I miss Sheffield. Sheffield is a great place for me. Uh, they always going to be there in my heart for sure. And of course, when we look back that season, you came in on the back of a, a year where you you retired effectively you hung up your skates but decided you wanted to come back how did you mm -hmm. find coming back and, and getting back into the, the level that you were that you were at previously uh it, it for me um uh, it was not hard because i always wanted to play i i want to win games i want to score goals i had i still have that fire in me so for me to come and i i felt i had a great start of the season so everything got easier a little bit you know but uh uh, it's not. I I didn't came just to came to play hockey. I came back to win and to produce. So I, that's why it was fun for me, uh, especially with coming with Zach. I knew he knew I was playing kind of player I was. So it was easy easy fit for me. Now I don't know if the the watchers and the listeners can hear this. I think there's a bird in the background. Have you got a, have you got an Avery or something? At home? Oh, maybe I. Yeah, it's <laughs> nice here. There's a lot of bird and things like that flying around. So that's probably what it is. <laughs> I'm outside, actually. That's why. Oh, very good. <laughs> so last season you were at Knoxville Ice Bears in the SPHL. How did you find yeah. that? And tell us about your experience playing there in a COVID world. Quite strange, I would imagine. Uh, yeah, it was a tough year for everyone last year. I actually signed with uh, Kalamazoo and the uh, East Coast Hockey League. And until December, they were telling us that the season's going to go. It's the season's going to go. So I was like, perfect. But uh, they called us like, a week before Christmas, telling us that the season was done for them. So uh, I was stuck uh, with nothing. I was, I'm was i a vet too, so it's there's only four vets in the, each team in the East Coast. So it's it's hard to find a place at this time of the year in December. So I was kind of stuck in my head. like, I won't play, I won't play. But uh, I needed to play. I needed to play because my goal was to come back to Glasgow or come back in Europe the, the year after. So I needed to play and... Uh, uh, Knoxville needed a vet there, and they didn't have any vet. And I was like, might as well I'll go. And it was it was good hockey. It was real good hockey. There's only five teams there. Uh, it was real professional, and uh, yeah, we had a good team. Uh, I'm I'm happy that I play hockey for at least three months, and I can see a lot of guys didn't play at all last year. So I'm pretty happy I was able to play. 
And how much is the fire still there, Matthew? That 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 desire to, to get yourself ready for a new season, which is where we are now, leading yep. into a season, the excitement of it. How much do you still have that in you? Oh, yeah, it's all there. It's all there. Especially I'm seeing all the guys were signing, and I've been talking to Malcolm a lot. Uh, me and Malcolm have a good relationship, so uh, it's it's even more fun. The coach knows me. You know, I play. I he coached me back in Florida, uh, so he, he knows what uh, I can bring to a team, and I. Especially that I still wanted to bring it to a team, what I can do, you know. Well, that brings me nicely into my next question. I was going to ask about Malcolm. I'm, also, I'm yeah. pleased to say you're, I believe you're going to be the player assistant coach for the clan this season as well. A, a new role, a bigger role for you. So how big a compliment is it that Malcolm's asked you to, to fulfill that for him? Oh, it's massive. Uh, yeah, I appreciate him for the call. And, uh, I know Malcolm, We what, he coached me. I was 21, 22 years old. It's it's been a while, but we kept uh, in good contact all those years. He tried to get me into Wichita to be the assistant coach there, but I was in Sheffield back then. Uh, but no, I'm I'm so happy to be doing this, and uh, I want to get involved. I want to help him like find a good team. I want him like help him during practice. I want to like be involved, not just having the name assistant coach. I want to I want to play my game, but I want to be able to to find ways for us to win games and find the. Uh, uh, new things on the power play, etc. So uh, I'm really happy, really pleased with it. So are you able to give us an insight into the conversations you've had with Malcolm and, and how you'll work together next year, how much of an input you'll have? Uh, well, I, I, that's one thing with Malcolm. He, he told me, he's like, you're going to get involved, you're going to help me. So I, that, that's huge, you know. Like uh, I'm pretty sure if he needs, he, he's looking for power play to change, he's going to ask me a question about it and things like that. Uh, so uh, it's real fun on that side. So we're getting to the end of the interview, Matthew. As I say, it's yep. good to reconnect with you again after so long. What with the, the strange world we're currently living in. So tell us something fun about you. Give us a fun fact that not many people know about you. What can you tell us? <laughs> a fun fact. Well, the, my nickname is The Cat. I don't know if people know that because they used to call me The Cat. Uh, I used to take a lot of naps back in the day. And <laughs> when I was in Florida, people couldn't understand why I was napping. I was like, well, put the AC on and just go for a nap. That's what I used to know. And uh, <laughs> I use a, I used to have a cat everywhere I go to. We have a cat here and it used to follow everywhere. He was in Sheffield. Um, I hope he's going to come to Glasgow this year. We'll see. So, uh, yeah, the cat, that's where the cat come from. <laughs> I see. I thought it was to do your reflexes or something. Or no, no, can... no. It's <laughs> just, uh, it, started, it started back in Florida, I think, because I liked it to sleep a lot back then when I was younger and uh, <laughs> yeah and I got a I love cats so that's probably what it is <laughs> who doesn't love cats who doesn't love yeah, cats yeah. <laughs> final one for you Matthew just before we wrap up what is your message to the Purple Army as you look ahead to your return to Glasgow oh it's just to be ready uh, I think uh, Malcolm what Malcolm's building right now is going to be a fun exciting uh, year especially with the year off uh, I'm more excited than everything and ev everyone in the team should be really, really excited for that season, especially with a year off. Uh, it's around the corner and uh, can't wait to, to go there and win some games. To win some games. Excellent. Macho, good to see you again. Can't wait to catch up with you when you're finally over here. And thank you for your thank time. You. Thank you, no problem.